hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and here we are covering nest.js microservices and we are going to use nx and pnpm workspaces nx is a monorepo and the pnpm is the workspace we are going to build and we are going to play with all these different architectures which i have already discussed in my last video this is the next video on top of that we are going to talk about nest.js microservices using tcp using kafka using grpc so let's continue on top of that so here we are going to create a simple pnpm workspace so i won't do i will not be doing a basic setup of each and everything here you can see a pnpm workspace yml i will just show you the basic stuff here we have these are both the folders packages and the apps we can create both will be the part of the the pnpm workspace and then we will add nx on top of that inside packages you can see we can create auth config database loggers send grid if we have it logger all these modules which we see which we can use in each and every nest.js app we can put it here i just put some random names maybe a logger config database uh, authorization some permissions all these things you can put here okay maybe a logger is and if you are doing some kind of a tracing or if you are just anything in the next yes we create uh, each and every modules like we use some existing modules type or a module nest yes config module or we build some some of our own modules let's say we are going to build our own config module database module where you just pass the database type and it will give you the configurations it will give you the repositories logger module you can use a winston or you can write your own custom logger send grid tracing whatever you can think can put it as a reusable package you will create a separate nsjs module and then inside apps what we can do we can create our folders let's say nsjs i this is the tcp service tcp auth okay and then i will just create another nsjs tcp nsjs http gateway because our gateway will be http and then there is another folder nsjs tcp so from the naming it is clear the gateway is going to use http interface and the auth is using tcp and the task which is another microservice which is going to use tcp's interface okay and from gateway we are going to access the auth and the task service so we are going to have a create a client at the gateway that is going to invoke that is going to target the tcp service running on a particular port using auth and tasks and so these are the apps which are already in the workspace criteria and these are our simple packages now creating a package i don't want to write the package json from the scratch so here we are using pnpm so when you do pnpm install what it does is it creates node modules in each and every folder so here this this is my root package json it is having nothing much all the common dependencies for the eslint commit gen uh, for the version check eslint husky prettier all these are the common dependencies which i have and these are the scripts npm run build and all so that is at the root level we already know how we can execute these commands at all the different packages let's say if i just do this check engine so npm run so it is just going to check all the node.js versions using this check engines command that's it it, it uses the mpgs script this is the npm module using which you can specify okay these are the particular versions you are allowing let's say this is the module i have inside the package.json i you need to specify this explicitly okay this is my engine this is my dev engine and it is allowing only this so if you have a node.js 12 or a 16 16 is fine 12 10 it won't compile it will just complain so when we talk about this what is the next thing we have these are the apps apps will consume these common packages so we are going to build these common packages let's say uh, we are going to build a simple tracing so what we need to have for this is simple uh, open an integrated terminal pnpm init first of all we need to have a simple package json 
and then you will start adding the dependencies okay i want to have the common jest config i will just copy this ts config package json jest config source okay this is copy i will remove this and we will talk about this what all dependencies we are using because it's a bare bone uh, nest js uh, simple library simple module you can say and what all dependencies we need here is if you look at the code uh, the tracing we don't need this so we are using common core config testing and reflect metadata i mean when you compile the nestjs code these are the dependencies which you need typescript tslib the typescript we can skip because it can reference it from the root project there also we have a typescript and then these are the types so always think always check that you have a common version i'm sticking to the nestjs 9.0.0 so all the packages all the applications i'm going to build that will have the same package json and pack package version now here is inside a source source inside source you will start writing your modules let's say i will just create a tracing module.ts tracing service.ts inside tracing service i will just remove this code for now so we can start from scratch okay this is injectable class we have a constructor this is our service and i will just say public say hello this is injectable i just need to install the pnpm install at the root so it can get all the dependencies and i need to change this to tracing so this is the scope of this module this is the organization and this is the the package name and you have the versions main and all so inside source we have index.ts here we are importing these module so here what i'm doing is simply i just have a service so here we can just call it as a tracing service i'm just talking about how we will build the modules and how we link them so tracing service inside providers and inside exports because we also going to export this so others can consume it import this service and this is the tracing module simple and uh, what we will do is this is the tracing is a new new package we have added packages and ts config i will go to the root npm install so you can see it has a four workspace projects and i can see the node modules populated here and you won't see much in the node modules because you can see nestjs dependencies i have and all the dependencies which are not in the root you will see only those dependencies here and how we do the build then it will link those dependencies automatically here you can see these are the nestjs dependencies and inside this module this is a service and i can just do a console.log Sorry for the typo. Say hi. Simple me simple method we have created inside this tracing module, and this is like a tracing package. So can we build it? Yes, we can build it. So we'll go to packages and tracing. Here I can just hit this command. npm run build. It is using TypeScript, and if you see the script. what it is doing is check uh, npm run build command tsc simple typescript and it is using ts config because we are writing package and we are writing typescript so we also need a ts config and simple package json script to build this it is excluding these and it is building the uh, source and it is generating the build output in the build dir so inside package json what is what will be the main file inside build look for index.js inside for the types 
look for index.d.ts so this is the output has been generated that will be used by when you import this package to other place let's say uh, i'm using this now how can i use this in the permissions package or inside a logger let's say logger is a simple module and i mean there is a naming problem let's delete this for now we will create a fresh logger send grid here i wanted to import this tracing module so how can we do this first of all we need to check okay name spacing is correct and what i will do is in either you can link it using pnpm command or just go and put inside a package json okay i wanted to use this thing and put all versions i mean logger i have removed so this is how you will link what i'm doing here is this tracing module i have added as a dependency to the send grid module so when you do the build first of all tracing module has already been built i will just go to the root again npm install this is the new dependencies added now go to this send grid package and see the node modules here you will see tk sharma and you can see the tracing has been added so it's like a sim link has been created from the tracing to the send grid so send grid was a is another module and you have added a dependency of a tracing module inside a send grid module similarly you will add a dependency of this tracing module inside our app so these packages can also be interlinked to one another because we will use config module and this config module will be added to all the places because configuration is database configurations tracing configurations and logger configurations log level database port username all these will be coming from config module so this is how we have added a tracing in the send grid module now if i just do a simple build cd we have a packages and i am going to go inside send grid and i will i can just do simply npm run build we can also run the build on at the root here you can see logger module we have removed so i will remove it i will just change it to tracing module and i got the tracing module now i will import it we will add the logger module back it just right now i was not needing that so now you can see build is successful so send grid module tracing module and everything is good now when you write a nestjs app here and we can write a simple http gateway open in the integrated terminal and i can use nest cli for that and this is the repository which i will be using for this platform all the putting all the microservices inside apps packages and all so you can check that out and here we are going to create a simple package okay because folder is already there i can just rename it and i can delete this folder for now and i can use this one it's using pnpm and it will just create a simple uh, simple uh, http interface for our uh, service it's not a library and by default nest cli is creating these controllers module services so it's like an http interface and now once this is there where it has been created okay this is something wrong because i was creating in that directory which i have deleted so let me do this again i will execute the same command pnpm that's good let's skip this part we will will check back so this is the tracing module this is how we have added now uh, what we will do is these are all our packages these packages will be uh, will be added into these nest js modules nest js applications like http gateway now if i want to add the dependency of let's say the tracing module what i will do is i will just go to the tracing package and this is how it is exposed 
TK Sharma tracing and if I want to add a dependency I will do the same thing here we are using common versions so we are good in the dependencies I will just say okay you are dependent on this package and I can just do pnpm i otherwise you can just explicitly do pnpm add filter command and add this package to this module it's better going at the root and doing pnpm i so it will automatically detect what is the change and it will install that dependency so this is you can see I have added this dependency and in the nest JS app let's say src this is the app module here I can import the tracing module so here I will just say and this will get resolved once we do a pnpm install at the root So this tracing module will also be available here you can see this has been added here and this is resolved no more build errors so now it's simple right this is how we will create a uh, packages now let's add the the power of nx to our projects here we are going to add all the apps these are the packages packages will be many as many packages you want you keep adding them and this is how you will import now uh, we can just install nx i will just use this is the pnpm add nx command you can just use we are in the root nx dependencies we are adding and then i am going to write this nx json file i will explain it i have already explained it in the previous videos nx dot json file is it okay formatting is good now what it is doing is these are the the tasks which i want to automate and i should be able to run them from the root of the the project i don't want to just go to these each and every project and do the build so what i can simply do is npx npx nx and i guess it's uh, building three projects gateway build okay this is executing what uh, just only these okay yeah tracing send grid and because it found only the package dot json there and the build script was only available there right so it has executed these dependencies and it works fine similarly the, there are other commands i think we don't have the test in all these projects maybe it will fail we don't have the tests available lint command i can just try if it is there it is trying to execute that works okay so this is how we will execute the nx command and wherever there is a dependency it will always build the package which is which on which it is dependent like say there is a package a and b and b has a dependency on a so it will build a first and then it will build b and all these are caching is enabled these are the cacheable operations so once it will take time and then in the second time it will just fetch the results from the cache you can see uh, existing output match the code left is one second it is just building this otherwise it is fetching it from the cache okay so we have added so this is like you can say a baseline is ready now we have these sub packages we have the applications and even you if you want to start this app what we can do is uh, there is a start command also there right start command on the gateway when i can just type this command npx nx http gateway start so this is just starting the gateway now we will just add uh, code on top of that this gateway is just using http rest interface and then these other packages other applications sorry they are going to use tcp auth and task why i created these packages so that we can we don't need to replicate these packages in each and every applications maybe let's say you have tens of applications here and here inside the packages you can create a aws s3 if you are uploading a files to s3 similarly if you are sending a message to the sns these are small small packages you can build elk elastic search 
elastic npm module or any kind of uh, logger any kind of uh, operations which you want to repeat on multiple packages you can put here all the types even that can be a simple package where you are exposing all the types for the different applications and apis because this package can be when you when you when you publish this package this is a publishable package then this can be used by front end applications to identify the typescript interfaces right so these are the packages can be reused in these applications so this is all about just uh, creating a baseline packages and the applications let's start our journey from the next video